what's up everybody Kevin Van Voorhis here welcome to episode 10 of the build series so today uh, I actually announced on Facebook Instagram uh, all my social media platforms Twitter which you can follow me at Cali boy Kev if you're interested uh, I announced today that I'm opening this training facility which it is a private training facility so it's not a regular gym um, we're not decided on what exactly we're going to do yet, but we're going to just start with just basically me training people one-on-one -on -one in an environment where you don't have to worry about people taking your equipment, uh, waiting on machines, so it's, uh, I think it'll be great. It's the only one of its kind in Amarillo, um, and then I think from there, probably in the next couple weeks, we're going to evaluate and see about opening um, gym memberships, but it'll be very limited. Uh, probably no more than 50 um, so that's just something we're gonna look into uh, but we will have open gym on the weekend so we'll be open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Saturday and Sunday if you are in the Emerald area or even if you're just driving through you want to come check it out so uh, and it'll be like five bucks you know for the day so you can come work out as long as you want instead of like you know most gyms their day fees like 15 or 20 bucks so ours is just gonna be five bucks so, um, so right now it's it's literally just a private training facility. So, f uh, from the clients that I've had come over, um, I've gotten really good reviews from it so far. They like that you know it's just a one-on-one -on -one environment. I let the client pick the music that we listen to. Um, it's just a much more intimate setting. You can come in and get shit done. You can yell if you want. You can play your music as loud as you want. Um, so for like my. Um, physique competitors, people competing in bodybuilding, bikini, whatever. Um, you know, they can come in here, work on po we can work on posing, not have to feel all awkward in the gym where in Amarillo not that many people compete. So um, I think it's going to be a good thing. I'm hoping that, you know, the response I get from other people in the community is good, but I think, uh, I think it will be. So uh, especially with the way that I do nutrition uh, and workouts and stuff like that. So. Um, I think people are really going to like it, um, just because how well I've done as a personal trainer here, I don't even like saying personal trainer, but as a coach here in Amarillo so far, and I've only been doing that by myself for just a little over a year, um, or actually, yeah, just barely a year, so uh, it's pretty crazy to think that I've opened up my own training facility within, I mean, literally a year uh, of me being on my own, so... Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of what's going on. So today I have two clients. I have a 5.30 and a 6. Uh, I've already trained all my clients earlier today. So right as Manny, Manny's going to get here right at 6.30. He better. I'm going to bust him in the face. Um, so we're going to go kick. We have back today, um, biceps, traps, and rear delts. And then we have to do our 10 minutes of hit and then our 10 minutes of uh, walking on the treadmill. And I think what I'm going to do, honestly, probably starting tomorrow, is instead of waiting to do my hit like at night, is just get it done when I'm here during the day. Uh, I think it'll be a lot better. So I'll probably just bring like a change of clothes, change out of you know my work clothes, which this is my work clothes for right now. <laughs> um, so change out of my work clothes and then, you know, put on some workout gear and basically just, you know, do my cardio, knock it out, get it out of the way. Um, so the only bad thing about working here or having my own gym is I'm not as actively walking as much versus being in the town club. Um, I mean, number one, it's, I mean, I've spaced it out, you know, everything's nice and compact and you don't have to walk very far, whereas the town club, you know, you're walking back and forth, back and forth, around, trying to find machines and stuff. So. Um, I need to get my active, like me doing, burning my NEAT, you know, my non-exercise activity calories up during the day. So I probably will start going on walks at night with my dog or maybe in the morning, uh, or dogs, uh, in the morning probably, you know, it's like 20, 30 minutes just to get my step count up. I really need to get my steps to a minimum, you know, I think of like, probably go with 12,000. <clears> I really need to get that up. Uh, and not count that as cardio because to me it's just walking so again you're just trying to burn as many calories as you can um, outside of the gym so uh, because my macros right now is 400 carbs 70 fat 230 protein um, and you're probably like wow carbs are super high but 
Um, I've kind of built up my metabolism. I mean, I'm not in shape by any means, but my metabolism is much better than it was. And even my last prep, I still think I started at 350. Um, and I was doing pretty good for a while. So, uh, the only reason I'm starting with cardio right off the bat, I, I like to do cardio. I, I feel much better. Uh, my lifts in the gym are better. I don't get so winded. I feel like a fat cow. So, um, so yeah. And also, I'm going to be relying on my kicking. So, I'm really hoping that I can kick five times a week. Um, and the good thing is I have actual turf in here. So, it's not like the carpet stuff you see. So, I'm going to... Uh, set up a net and I can kick in here. I mean, I can literally kick in here whenever I want. So um, I just have to. We just had to figure out the right way to set up the net because we haven't really figured it out yet. Because we did it the other night, and, like the ball would come back and hit me in the face. So um, that's one thing we need to figure out. But it'll be nice. You know, I can come in here and kick for 30 minutes. So again, that's part of my neat my non-exercise activity. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I will see you guys in about an hour. I think. Let's see. Yeah. I'll see you guys in about an hour and a half. Uh, I'm going to do some work on the computer. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Um, also, if you want to follow the Van Boris uh, Instagram, it's at Van Boris Performance. Super simple. Um, also, Facebook.com slash Van Boris Performance. Look at that. Perfect. So, I will see you guys later. Alright, what's up, guys? What time is it? 7.30ish? We're W2 today. Again. Uh, <clears throat> today we're just gonna work on kickoffs. That's it. Just kickoffs, Manny. So we're gonna train probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, work on a little bit of mobility and stretching to begin. And then somebody just hit that baseball over the field. Uh, so stretching mobility and we'll probably punt a little bit just to get warmed up. That's what I like to do. And then we got a bunch of kickoffs to do. So. See you guys in the field. Turn me up, Ali. I know your image of me is what I hope to be. Black lip, bastard, pass me your password so I can hack inside your brain. See, I too have gone insane. Before I fall, I'm sure to curse you all in Jesus' name. Lead shower and a pebble hour, bitch, stand around. What you really want? Let me I get it back, Ali. What we doing? What we doing if you was yeah, Alright, so we just got uh, done punting. Sorry if it's a little windy. Uh, it's probably about, I don't know, seven miles an hour, not too bad. So, um, we did 14 punts, just loosen up a little bit. I'm really not sure why I'm punting. The only reason I'm still punting because it loosens me up. Um, obviously, I'm not going to try and play in Canada anymore. So, I was already offered that job and turned that down. So, I just wanted to focus on kickoffs and punts. I mean, shit, not punts. Kickoffs and field goals. And uh, stop getting bugs in my ear. Jesus. So, that's going to be my main focus. Kickoffs, field goals. Be smooth and be perfect. Because if you're trying to go to the NFL, you've got to be perfect. So, we're going to do some field goals. Uh, I think everything today we're going to do 40 and over. So, we'll kind of see how far we can get some field goals in today. All right, so we're gonna start. We got seven balls. We're gonna go on the 40, uh, left hash, middle, and right. Uh, we'll probably go two, 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 and then one extra one. So that's gonna be the plan for right now. So let's see if we can make all seven. One, two axes, and knock the earth off axes. Ass. So. No, we do it, do it. 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 Niggas, why? No, we do it, do it. Alright, so I went 5 for 7 from the 40, missed one on the right, one on the left. So we're gonna go 43, and then middle, right, left. So we'll see how we do on this one. Bitches popping Percocet and percolating. Freelance for God, but do the work of Satan. Whatever works. I'm clever with the words, if you haven't noticed yet. Light years ahead, I'm right, and I'd like to get oral sex. Soul brother number one plus one. Getting fed like where drugs and guns come from. Uh, all we do is do it. 
shitting on the competition Taking heads off, this Hannibal Lecter music You niggas don't move me, you niggas just movies Cut straight to them credits and hit you with a Uzi Peel off in a dooley, your bed full of toolies Get home, smoke, coke on some coochie I'm just fucking around, enough with them fairy tales But I bust heads for real, go ahead all right, seven for seven from the 43. So now, what are we doing now? 45, 50, 55, 60. Oh, so we are doing that? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75 down the middle. So we'll see how this goes. All right, 45, good, we're going 50 now. All right, 50 middle, good. We got 55 middle next. Fifty-five middle, good. We're going 60 now. Woo. All right, 60 middle, good. We're gonna go 65, 70, 75 today. Post on Instagram. We'll see. Damn it. Let's back it up. What is this? 70 yard field goal. Get in there. <laughs> Alright, 75 yard field goal on college posts. Alright, so we're good from 60, 65, 70, and I just kicked 25, 21 75s, not today, but a half a yard short on like all of them. So, but hey, that's, not, that's pretty good for not kicking in six weeks, so not too bad. So we're going to clean up these balls, grab some to eat, go work out. Alright, so we're at Love's. Down the street, so let's see, you got Diet Snapple, Peach, these are bomb, and then best Snickers ever. Snickers, Rocky Road, has three less grams of fat. So, let me eat this, go let my dogs out, it's time to train. National Dog Day. National Dog Day. Oh, you're crazy. Whoa. Compton. Compton! Alright, we're at VVP. It's 10 o'clock. That's the great thing about owning your own gym. You can work out whenever the hell you want. Uh, what, we got heavy back today? Heavy biceps. Heavy biceps. We're just doing arms every day. <laughs> so heavy biceps. No, she is just kidding. <laughs> heavy back today. Um, probably start with Penley rows. And we got dumbbell row. Just lots of rows. Tons and tons of rows. Uh, and then pull downs. And... Heavy biceps, we'll do traps last, and we got rear delts also. So, that's gonna be the plan. We'll see if Manny can stop flex flexing the mirror for about five seconds and get this workout in, I don't know. We're gonna take some new pump to the dome, and put on some music, and that's it, man. So we'll see you guys, I'm, I'm gonna record a little bit, but my battery is dying, so bear with me. Alright, so we did Henley row, reverse grip row, bent up row. Now we're doing, we're finishing up 6x10, 100 pound dumbbell, uh, dumbbell row, as you can see. So, next we're going to go close grip, flat pull down, and wide grip, flat pull down. Mesh a bit for back. Five exercises, heavy, lots of volume. And uh, I'll show you guys what we're going to do next. Alright, so we're 
So we're on the biceps. If you guys don't know what this is, this is the old school right here. Got it on Amazon for like 30 bucks. So you put your arms like this, you just curl it. Basically, it's a super strict curl. Uh, Arnold's super famous for doing for wearing this, so I'll show you guys. So just try and stand as tall as you can, and just all the way up, all the way down. And feel the stretch on the bottom of the bicep. And feel the squeeze. Get a limited Alright, we're finished up with uh, seated, bent over rear delt exercise. So check it out. So you really just want to bend over, squeeze at the top, and you can see how my rear delt is popping out. That's what you want to look for. So after this, we got cardio. Cardio. So all good. Biggie, what up? All right, guys. It's uh, midnight on the dot. Just got done doing cardio. Look at that. If you wonder how you're supposed to do cardio, this is only 20 minutes. Look at Manny. You can't even tell because of the shirt. Maybe? It's dr like, he's drenched. This is, but look at, look at this. Soaked. That's how you should be doing, look, wiping sweat. And we only did 10 minutes of walking and 10 minutes of hit. So for all my clients out there who are doing more, you should be sweating a lot more. So this is going to conclude episode 10 of the build series. We will see you guys for leg day tomorrow. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me at Caligoy Kev on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, follow Manny G, Manny G100, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, oh, follow Van Voorst Performance at Van Voorst Performance, and follow Contagion Athletics at Contagion underscore Athletics. So, Got all that out of the way. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Leg day. I'm going to go sleep and eat.